State House and the Inspector General of Police have finally confirmed that the police recruits taken last year in July will not report for training tomorrow as had earlier been planned. And the confirmation was to address the shock and confusion triggered by last evening's statement from the National Police Service Commission announcing a fresh recruitment. This turn of events caused demonstrations in the city today by those who had been recruited last year. The 2014 disappointed police recruits are a very angry lot. They held demonstrations in Nairobi and marched towards State House to register their displeasure. The State House spokesperson Manoa Esipisu has now confirmed that the president signed off on the decision to overturn his directive to have last year's police recruits report for training. National Police Service Commission hereby announces a new recruitment exercise. And now, the Inspector General of Police has also confirmed to the disappointed police recruits that they will not report to the police training tomorrow as earlier ordered. The recruits are lost. New laws of um, recruiting new policemen were, what? were amended that there should be an advert advertisement, then, then we shall apply and we shall be short what listed our names before anything yeah. that's the process the new process yes. that was done what that was amended and it was passed the recruits have now been asked to join other interested candidates on april the 20th and compete for recruitment space <laughs> if this recruitment was corrupt it means we are corrupt those people that recruited us they are also corrupt and they are going to court on Monday. A recruitment in July last year was nullified by the High Court after the Independent Policing Oversight Authority successfully challenged it. Justice Isaac Lenaola found the recruitment to have been marred with corruption. The government appealed the decision and the Court of Appeal was to rule on the 8th of May. But the President jumped the gun. I also further direct the Inspector General of Police to take urgent steps and ensure that the 10,000 recruits whose enrollment is pending promptly report for training at the Kenya Police College in Kiganjo. I take full responsibility for this directive. The executive has maintained that it needs more police officers quickly to help deal with insecurity.